All right, welcome back. Another day, different shirt. <laughs> now we're going to look at subtracting integers. Very good. So we already reviewed what integers are. They're the whole numbers, positives and negatives, including zero. No decimals, no fractions. We reviewed adding integers. Okay? When we add integers, if they're the same sign, we add and keep the sign. If they're different signs, one's positive, one's negative, you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number, okay, the larger number. So what about when we subtract integers? What are the rules there? Well, the rule is simple, right? Wherever possible, we could change it into an addition problem. Okay. Some of you, in your junior high or wherever, you learn keep change change. And if that's what you learned, great. Keep using it. It works. Only use it for subtraction. So let's say we have 4 minus negative 3. Okay, so now we're subtracting two integers. One's positive, one's negative. In this example, we want to change into addition. So make the subtraction problem an addition problem. Because we already know the rules for addition. They're easy. So this would become 4 plus 3. If we're using keep, change, change, and the idea is to keep the 4, change subtraction to addition, and we change the negative to a positive. And we can see the answer is 7. Very easy. If we don't like this idea of keep, change, change, another way to think of it, right, and we haven't really talked about these rules, but we know a negative times a negative becomes a positive. That's another way to look at it. Okay. Questions on this one? No. No. Okay. So we'll keep this in mind. Keep change, change. Change, subtraction to addition, and it's easy. Let's try another one. What about this one? Four take away six. And a lot of students would tell me two. And I'll say, no, it's not two. Okay? Negative three. It would be negative two. I'll show you a couple different methods on this one. If we have four, take away six, we change that to addition. Four plus a negative six. Keep change, change. Keep the four. Change minus to addition, change positive 6 to negative 6. And now we know the rule. Same sign or different sign? Different. Different. So we subtract. Which one's bigger? 6. 6 is negative, it's negative. Still get negative 2. Okay. We could do keep change change on every subtraction problem. And we want to change it to addition, and then the rules for addition we already know. Same sign, add, keep the sign. Different signs, subtract, keep the larger. And I showed you another method. I call it my box method. One is subtraction. We can just put boxes around these guys and see they're different signs, so we subtract. That's bigger. It's negative. So the box method works also. You would box that operation with this, and that becomes your sign. We have positive, negative, different signs. Subtract. That one's bigger. It's negative. What about this one? Could we do keep, change, change? Yes. 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 So we keep the negative 4. Change it to addition. Negative three. Negative seven. Okay. So 
Keep the negative 4, change subtraction to addition, change the 3 to negative 3, to negative 7. Another way, box method. Box these guys up. Same side, add and keep the sign. Okay. Very easy. Or, you can think of money, right? If you owe four dollars and you owe three dollars, well now you owe seven dollars. Okay? Or you can spend four, you spend another three, that means you spent seven. Okay? There's lots of ways you can think of it. You're gonna practice and practice till everyone can do it. And the last one. What if we have negative 4 minus negative 2? How do we do that? Keep, change, change. Be negative 2. Or like before, right? Negative times that negative makes it a positive. We box them up. We're good.